Hi, everyone. My name is Ryan Smith. I'm a professor and director of the School of Design and Construction at Washington State University. I also run a consultancy and research organization called ModX, where we support the construction sector, particularly in housing, to help them deliver more efficient uh, means of design and construction. I'm really excited to be part of Hack a House again. I've been doing it uh, for the last couple of years, one as a judge, and then last year organizing the Washington State event and looking forward to our students and uh, many around the country participating in this wonderful opportunity afforded to them. Of course, this has met this wonderful opportunity because of an unfortunate uh, situation that we have in this country, which is a lack of housing affordability. Uh, people who are needing housing, particularly in my backyard here in Pullman, Washington, small town, can't find it because uh, high income or professional incomes are pushing uh, people out to uh, the fringes of rural communities. And this is happening, this kind of gentrification is happening across the country. Uh, so we're trying to come up with solutions in this competition that you can help to, to find uh, innovative ideas around policy, finance, and designing construction that could help solve this problem. Because ultimately, it's going to be a situation you inherit, unfortunately, uh, and one that you can help solve through creative ideas. So welcome to the hack a house and the opportunity to solve those problems. I have three major problems that I want to outline that we face in housing design and construction today that perhaps you could help frame some ideas around, some innovations around. The first is the lack of labor that exists in the construction industry. In particular, students who are coming out of school or those who are looking to go into the trades are not choosing construction as a career path. Not across the board, but there's a decline in the number of folks in the labor pool and in the, in the workforce. And that uh, has significant challenges as labor rates go up um, and uh, construction is more and more in demand, uh, the supply uh, uh, is not there. And so how do we get, a, get around that situation? How do we help to improve that situation? Could you come up with ideas that would encourage folks to get into the construction sector, but also could we find ways to be more efficient with labor so we don't need as much of it? Uh, another area is the cost of materials. And uh, even though those were declining, once COVID came online, we're seeing an increase in some material costs, in particular in lumber. And wood is what our primary material that we use in, uh, in construction is. And so how do we uh, find ways to bring down material costs and make the efficiency of building housing uh, um, improved? And that could be using a myriad of methods like prefabrication or uh, factory-based construction. Uh, furthermore, another interesting thing that's happened or problem that's happened amidst COVID, um, and that is the big issue, is uh, people staying at home and working from home. That has presented some challenges with the way we use our homes and sound um, separation, uh, different parts of the home being used for different operations. Certainly it's more efficient, but how can I turn my home into my workplace, to my exercise space, to my entertainment space? And homes and apartments and our housing in this country and around the world is gonna look very differently, I think, in the next five to 10 years uh, amidst um, continual worry for pandemics or other uh, situations to happen. And coming out of COVID, we won't see people return to, uh, return to work and the workplace like we did before. There will be a lot more teleworking that will occur. So what does that mean for housing is an interesting question for this competition. And that means it needs to be focused more on users, right? those who occupy it, those who behave in it. Whereas home builders may have not considered that all that much before, now it becomes a paramount importance and a distinguishing factor in what might be a successful affordable housing development versus a less successful uh, development. And then finally, the leveraging of technology. We'll, we're seeing more and more of that, but there's been a lack of that over the years. And I think we are necessarily seeing a technology come into every part of our lives today because of distance learning distance business. Um, and so what does that look like? AI, artificial intelligence, the application of IT tools in design and construction like we have never seen before that will hopefully speed up the process and make it much more accessible and hopefully more affordable for those who occupy it. 
So I'm really looking forward to ideas that are coming to uh, out of this competition that address the issues of labor, the lack of labor supply, the lack of uh, um, security in material pricing and the fluctuations therein, um, the uh, application of approaching users and what they need in their homes amidst COVID and being homebound and in the future working from home a lot more. And then finally, the application of technologies like AI and other IT tools in order to enable uh, more innovative solutions to design and construction. So good luck in your competition and uh, may the force be with you.